Hello everybody and welcome back to Battletech. The last episode we took on a single lance of enemies. Uh, also decided to buy an arcade for the uh, Argo, so that's something we're doing now. Uh, but we have one more contract on Panzer before we move out to do the next story mission because it's the same skull level so if we can do this one we can do the ex we can do this extraction mission uh wow that pays a lot okay so yeah stubborn surrender many years ago we fought a lengthy conflict with the pirates here in panzir recently however news has trickled in from a remote region of the planet enemy forces harrying regional transportation Eyewitnesses' reports describe very old mechs in colors from the conflict long since ended. You were to show these old mech warriors that the war is over for them as well. Commander, we can't underestimate these old timers, but unfortunately, we can't expect poorly maintained mechs. Finish them quickly. Okay. Lowlands, so it's not going to be as hot, so we'll negotiate. I want money. So we'll go... You know, we got more payout whenever we got the salvage, so we're going to do that. Okay. <clears throat> oh, and the Orion's back, so we can drop the dragon. Even though the dragon was pretty good, I like the Orion. And, yeah. I think we're okay. We, we dropped Silver back out, and we can put High Tower back into his Highlander. The Highlander has the High Tower. And let's go. <clears throat> <clears throat> so once we get this done we'll be able to move out to the extraction mission this should also if we get lucky with the salvage we should have plenty of pay from this and that'll pay out for the month so yeah destroy the legacy lance of pirate max simple maybe easy we're not sure could be a spawn of three assaults and uh, which we might be able to be deal with uh i mean heck uh, orion is about as armored as one of our assaults now whether or not that means our assaults are lightly Command armored or our orion is heavily shield. armored i don't know looks like we found our targets commander <sighs> move forward clear them out be careful these mechs may be old and poorly maintained but they can still kill you let's earn some money Uh, let's move forward and see what out. we see. We've got an unknown on centers. Alright. Don't know what it is. Yes! Give them everything you've got! 20 tonner, it's a light locust. Sharpshooter. Is underwhelming. Commander. Firing jump jet. <clears throat> Take a jump jet over here. Hit him with some medium lasers to kill him. Also, we're just gonna precision strike him. Just hit him in the chest. Good to go. He's dead. Well done. Here we go. Enemy yeah, that paid attack. for itself. Are there only two mechs in this uh, pirate lance? Yeah, Commander. I'm gonna use that space bar quick finish turn ability a lot. I like it. 80 tonner. It's an assault. We have an awesome. It's an awesome. Okay. Awesome battle. Well, yeah, we just have an awesome. It doesn't look like they have any support that we can see. So let's just, yeah, fire. Okay. 
Okay. High tower. Yeah, that's better. Copy that. They also added a new thing where you can right click to cancel a move, which is awesome. Alright. If we can go for the leg, I want to get as much salvage from this thing as possible, so go for the leg. Aye, aye. It's a hit. Oh, ammo explosion. No retreat. I don't know what happened. Excellent work, Commander. The zone is clear. Board is green. Let's go home. Did I just kill the pilot? Or did I did it CT go up with an ammo explosion? I don't know. I was lucky. <laughs> Okay, let's see. Did we... Yeah, almost nobody took any real damage except for the quick draw. It took one laser shot to the chest. Nope, it doesn't look like we, we actually just killed the awesome normal. Uh, take both of those. Uh, we'll take an LRM-15 double plus. That's fine. Alright. Let's get everything else. A couple of large lasers, SRMs. Yeah, that wasn't, that, that wasn't really worth it. Should have just gone for the pay, but... You never know about the spawns. That was a pretty tough mission in terms of skull rating, but it uh, turned out to be one of the easier ones I've done. I mean, probably just because I have two assaults, but whatever. All right, let's go to the mech warrior mech. Uh, well, let's go to the barracks. I was going to say mech barracks, but no, just the barracks. Um, hmm. Orders. Waiting for orders. What do we got for Wasp? Wasp? Awaiting orders. Tactics. Do we have anybody else with stars? I don't think so. Let's have you go up in tactics. Mech warrior training complete. Nice. Got an achievement for that too. <clears throat> Wasp. Huh. You go up there. Go up there to give you some extra health, and go up in gunnery as well. Confirm. Confirm, confirm Commander. What about me? <clears throat> I've got some I could spend on. Call shot mastery? Yeah, we'll do that. Training complete. How about you, Hightower? You've got plenty. Um, hmm. I only make you go up in guts. Mech warrior training complete. Silverback, what about you? You got some to spend. Not a lot though. Wait. Uh, okay. It's all right. So I don't think we have anything else here. We don't. Oh, I forgot to check my patrons. I forgot to check my patrons because that is that is a thing. This thing. Uh, sound might go finicky here, but I am on screen recording, so this should keep go. No, no, that's just gonna change. That's just gonna minimize the game, I think. Uh, all right. <clears throat> yeah, I think I can do that. I don't have anything up on my page. Yeah, I'm just gonna check my because uh, I'm gonna go to the barracks. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna Reporting. we're gonna customize Silverback to one of my patrons who's on the five dollar tier. So the the screen may go black here, or it may just uh, go to my desktop. Just give me a second. Yep, went to my desktop. Uh, and if I go to the barracks, okay, here we go. Let's make sure those are all up. Okay, should still be recording. Uh, and I just realized I just blocked the damn. Uh, shit. Uh, one second. <laughs> this is a shit show. Uh, let's move that over there. That's there. That's fine. Boom. Okay. So we are going to customize this guy and the call sign. Draken. 
Z4. Save. Oh, probably should also... I'm pretty sure they identify as he as well. So there we go. Draken Z4. I don't necessarily plan on using you a lot, but you are in my roster now, and that is one of the benefits of being a patron that goes to the $5 tier. Uh, you get access to that. So, good on ya. Uh, I think that's... I think, yeah, I don't think we need to modify anything else. Uh, so let's go to our contracts and go for the extraction. We've got plenty of uh, money in the bank. We've got um, we got more than a year's worth of back pay just sitting there. So we're going to spend 20 days to head to this uh, this mission. By your command. Engine prime. All hands transition. Ah. <sighs> So we got a couple of days to our financial report. Should have the, uh, I don't remember actually. Got a new financial report for you, Commander. Okay, pretty simple. Stay normal. Yeah, we'll have the arcade well before we get to our mission zone. Tournament Madness. Riptide arrives at your quarters looking for some advice. What had started as a competitive training exercise in the training module has since evolved into a shipwide tournament, with mixed lances of mech warriors and other crew. Riptide and Payday have been competing together. But Commander, Payday hasn't been pulling his weight, and my other two teammates are looking to me, as Lance Captain, to do something about it. I'm feeling a bit stuck here. What should I do? Riptide does not have officers, so this is the first time she's been in this position. If I were to replace, suggest Riptide hold extra practice. Yeah, hold extra practice, teach them. Don't break them. Riptide nods. You're right. Now it's the now it's the time for everybody to step up. Later that week, you visit the training room and check the leaderboards. Riptide's team has been rising in the standings. She walks up behind you. Thanks for the advice. I just wish I'd challenged the team even sooner. We may uh, have made it into the finals, but next season we've got this, for sure. Riptide has gained the following tags for 30 days. High spirits, nice. I don't use you a lot, but it's still nice that there's some, uh, some character development. I guess there's a, I guess since even if we don't have the, uh, the huge, uh, ooh, ooh, game, oh. Even if we don't have the huge, uh, training uh pod uh room that we uh could have i guess there's still Top tournaments work, happening if I may say so. okay so we've got the arcade now let's look at the ship upgrades could get a zero g pool you know the worst thing ever or we could actually get the training modules that allow for tournaments this is basically a one month's pay I think it's worth it. Purchase. Okay. It'll take a bit, but we'll get it done. All right. By the way, the thing that came up for that was Sir Meyer saying she had a pendant ready, which I I am almost one hundred percent certain Sir Meyer is a gamer, because everything that relates to like gaming and having fun and stuff like that, she's the one that's in the little uh, flavor text, which I'm liking. Seven days to the actual zone. Okay. Alright, well, we've got our hero lance ready and where to go. Dead drop. We're picking up a transmission on the Restoration Distress Frequency Commander. The timestamp is marked a couple hours ago. It's from Lord Madeira. Kamea, by the time you receive this message, I'll be I'll have been captured. I've got hostiles closing in all around me as I record this. I don't know how much time I have left. Listen, the evidence is hidden in a de in a dead drop. Uh, it was the best I could do given the circumstances. Go to my grandfather's monument, 
you remember, the place where we laid him to rest, in the mountains. The Directorate paved it over and built a structure right on top of it. Look there, you'll find what you need. I could hear the sound of splintering hard... I can hear the sound of splintering hardwood. They're coming through the door, and I'm out of time. I pray that you will see uh, that I will see you again, but if I don't, you need to win this war. Whatever you have uh, to do, just finish it. Not for me, but for the people. Goodbye. Okay, the image on the view screen cuts out. The only sound you can hear is the hiss of static. The bastards took him. I'll start putting together a rescue team. Once again, prove that nothing will ever go smoothly in this stupid war. Well, the bastards took him. That's what we know so far. But he left us the evidence. They have Alexander Darius. And we're going after him. Now. I've got Lord Madeira's subdermal transponder signal on my screen. They're moving him. Probably in an APC. If we launch mechs now, we may be able to catch up to it. We shouldn't launch until we've learned more about the Op 4. I want to know what we're dropping into. Then we better get moving, Lady Rana. No, we need to know what we're dropping into. Half-baked plans are just full-baked failures. They're already moving him, Commander. We don't have time. I need you to assemble three of your best mech warriors. I'll be joining them in the Atlas we recovered from Castle Nautilus. Time is of the essence. We must retrieve the evidence. And we will bring Lord Madeira back home. Oh, God. She's coming. That means we're not gonna... Oh, no. Oh, no. That's three assaults. We're dropping the Orion. We're dropping a Wasp. We're bringing in our Quick Mech. And we're putting in Wolfman. We have to, because Wolfman's the only one that's going to be going ahead of time. Five-star drop. We could drop the Battlemaster. In favor of the Catapult. And getting our LRM. Spam out of the way. We drop that, and we bring in the catapult. Four and a half ton. That drops our armor down a lot, but we still have the Atlas, which is the most heavily armored mech in the game. And we have our Highlander. We're going with this one. We're going with this one. Deploy. <clears throat> so we're doing this we're trying to rescue Lord Madeira and get our intel so attempt to rescue Lord Alexander Madeira recover House Madeira's insurance policy Lady Kamea Arano must survive the Directorate has captured Lord Madeira and we're going to get him back we have his transponder coordinates, and we know that he's on the move. We're going to make planet fall, rescue Alexander, and recover the evidence he risked his life to bring us. And we will bring ruin to anyone who stands in our way. Lady Arano said it all, Neil. We don't leave our people behind, and Lord Madeiro is an important asset to the restoration. He's on our crew. Let's go get him. Command interface initiated. How are we looking, Darius? You're approaching the convoy. Alexander's locator signal puts him on an a APC in the middle of the group. It's surrounded by a pack of armed escorts. How close are they going to the refueling depot? Close. From the director's transmission we've intercepted, I can tell you that there's a small group of attack vehicles waiting at the depot. The good news is that their co uh, communications are down, and they're prepping to depart for a local repair yard. If you can engage the convoy outside the attack vehicle sensor range, you should depart. Uh, they should depart on their own. Like I said, they're on a schedule. But if they catch sight of you before they leave, you'll have to connect with them too. Okay. Destroy the escort vehicles. 
So let's get moving. I'm on the move. Okay, sprinting's quicker. Moving out. Come on. <laughs> How far did they go? A turn. Not too far. Okay, I, I stand corrected. Stand very corrected. That is going to be a problem. Location confirmed. All right, sprint up there. Moving out. Sprint up there. We've got an unknown on sensors. On it. Okay. We're within sensor range, and we should be able to use the catapult's indirect fire. For the Oregon people. Ten ton vehicles? It's not that bad. She just run over a lamppost? You. What the hell? Commander. Jumping over, we're getting into range. It's a 55 ton lance. 35 ton, 35 ton. Lifting off. She's gonna jump, use vigilance. Confirm. And then she's going to attack. You go on three. We're currently on three, I think. You go on two. Well, no, we're on four. So hit that guy. Copy that. Okay, that's a hit. Okay, and the griffin's moving. Into cover, it looks like. Okay, getting on top of this hill. Hit the griffin. Hit the strikers. Multi-target. Alpha. Bravo. Everything else on Bravo, but we'll hit the uh, Griffin with the uh, missile. Engaging multiple targets. Okay, that's a hit. Okay. Okay, injury ignored. Fine. Okay, that Vigilance really helped us there. Sixty ton vehicle, they're leaving. Nope, or yes, nope. We'll have to deal with them now. Yep, all three of them. Jump on up there, Highlander. Yeah, take a shot on that Griffin. Affirmative. Good shot, good shot. Okay. 
Okay, you can hit him just fine. Not a big problem there. I'll make it happen. Yeah, I need you to sprint up there because you're you decided to come and you threw all my fucking plans uh, array like just awry. I do not have a good lance composition when you just throw yourself into my lance, Serrano. Commander. What environment are we in? I actually don't know. Okay, we're going to attack this thing. Engaging. Should be on the back now. He's not. Okay, we're shooting at the catapult. Alright, that one's going into the fuel depot. The APC has reached the refueling depot, Commander. Take out those escorts. Should we have waited to attack, maybe? Was that a thing? It's probably a thing. Move over here. Multi-target. Alpha. Bravo. Charlie. I want that on Alpha. This one on Bravo. That one on Bravo. That one on Bravo and all of these on Charlie. Fire. Engaging multiple targets. Okay, that one's down. Okay, let's hit on the quick draw. It's a good shot. System holding. Now you're moving. Okay. Yes, I hear you. Yeah, go after that griffin, knock him down. Locked in on the target. There we go. Semantic core. Big hit. Might want to rest. I might restart this. Might be better to wait for the refueling depot. I didn't realize they were not going to go in it. Aye, aye. I, I, I thought they weren't going to go in it. Was what I was thinking. Fire. Firing full complement on enemy. Okay, he's dead. Directors must fall. Target neutralized. Oh, yeah, that is a that is a turret with missiles on it.
jump back up here. Take a shot on that thing. Fire. Bomb. Didn't kill it, actually, surprisingly enough. Internal structure damage. All right, they're backing off. Alpha, Bravo. Let's see here. Have to go to Alpha. Switch that off. Okay. Now that's gonna go to Alpha because it has apparently an open bit on it. I'm not sure. Uh, then this Manticore, I want that to go to Bravo. Bravo. That'll go to Alpha. That'll go to Alpha. Okay. Fire. Engaging multiple targets. Gave me structure exposed meshes latch time, but apparently that was a lie. Yeah, I think we're going to load the last save. Auto save mission extraction. We're going to try this mission again. But this time, we're going to wait for them to get to the fuel depot, and then we're going to hit them with a pre-planned ambush without the extra three escorts. Because I think that was originally what they were trying to have me do. So let's go ahead and do that. We'll load it up in there and looking at the time that'll be the end of this episode and we'll start next episode fresh with a brand new try of this mission. Still dislike the fact that I have to deal with Arano. Uh, yeah, you are in an atlas, but you just threw my whole lance into array with that. Okay. Command interface initiated. There we go. All right. Well, looking at the time of the episode, like I said, that's going to be the end of it. So thank you for joining me for the episode. If you liked it, please leave a comment down below and hit that like button. If you want to help support the channel, consider that subscribe button, as well as taking a look at the description down below, where I have links to my Discord and my Patreon page. But I'll see you guys in the next episode. Bye!